Hello, and I am back with more Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, let's, without further saying, let's jump right into this. Uh, before we start off, I just want to say that I've noticed that uh, whenever I say something, whenever I start singing in these games, something bad happens to me. So, I won't sing as much. And many of you are jumping for joy right now. So let's start off this night by winding up the music box. Hello, Foxy. Alright, someone there already. Alright, just Foxy, no big deal yet. Honk. Hmm. Uh, like I said before, there will be two episodes going up today. So... Yeah, I'm gonna just be recording two right in a row. So, uh, normally I wouldn't do that because obviously anything that you comment on this one, I won't see for the next one. But, A, they're going up at the same time, and B, no one ever comments anyways. So there's that. And Foxy's been pretty active on this day too. Not so much new Foxy, though. <laughs> see what I mean? You too, Bonnie? Jeez, Falco. You too? Oh yeah, it's the last thing we need in this game. A bird. A bird animatronic. That's the day I take a shotgun and blow Freddy's head off. If I even had a gun. Because they're completely illegal in New York. Completely. Unless you're upstate, I guess. But New York City, if you want to own a gun, forget about it. Eh. If only Freddy knew that I was ready for him. Always. And you too, Chica. I guess I should check up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Foxy, Foxy Lady, not really, at all, like never, hello, hello, oh wow, well I messed up, I legitimately didn't think that would have been so early on, well obviously I was expecting Chica, uh, but I, oh, so what's it gonna be this time? Give gifts. Okay. Obviously, I seem to be the Marriott now, moving much slower than he does in game for God knows what reason. Now what? Uh, oh, give life. Okay, I'm gifts. I'm giving the gift of life to oh, Bonnie, Chica. You Foxy or Freddy? That's Foxy? And the last one is Freddy. Man, I'm not going back again. Oh, Golden Freddy. I'm pissing myself, as you can clearly see. Alright, let's try again. So what I meant was I didn't expect Chica to pop up when I only had the monitor up for one second. But whatever. Two, three, four, five. I love that jingle. It's so catchy. Don't know what it's called though. Oh, my bad. Uh, flash, 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 flash. Flashman's weapon. You know, I sorta of want Flashman's weapon here, and I sorta of don't, because if I have it, well then, yay. I mean, I'll freeze time. These animatronics can't hurt me, and I can sneak out. Downside, it lasts 10 seconds, that's obviously not enough time, plus time itself stands still. I... Wait, actually that's never been confirmed. All we know is that it freezes the enemies in Mega Man 2. Maybe it doesn't actually freeze time. Hmm. Now I make it pretty damn useful. 
for this scenario. But again, it only lasted 10 seconds, let alone 6 hours. Speaking of which, I'm really glad this isn't actually 6 hours, because then I would in fact murder someone. I don't think many people would survive night 1 in that case. Oh, your hand both your hands are gone, Chica. Huh? Feels so bad for Chica now. Both her hands are missing. I mean you guys, someone's pointing down the camera. Surprisingly no. Alright, who's still there? If either. Because that would be awesome. Oh, just Freddy. No big deal. Yeah, Freddy. No big deal. Just a Fazbear himself. For the love of God, balloon boy. Oh, now just new Foxy. Eh, good. For me. You know, I didn't even mean to take out the camera. Like, you see, you see what happened there? Was I put up the camera, but I accidentally put it back down. If I didn't put it back down, I would have had enough time to wind up the marionette's music box and gotten back in time to deal with Bonnie. So, I would have won. Oh well. We all make stupid mistakes. Mine just happened to be fatal. So I've been playing the crap out of Animal Crossing newly for the past couple months. I've been trying my absolute best to get in at least about hmm, enough time each day to do my quote unquote daily routine, which typically takes two hours. And only rarely does life interfere to the point where I just can't play for that one day. Cause of course I am a completionist and I of course need to complete Animal Crossing. <sighs> when Emil introduced that game to me, I, I just took it as a challenge, even though I knew my life would never be the same. Damn a meal. Alright, who, who are you? That nah, doesn't matter. Nah, just foxy. Catchiest. Well, not the catchiest, not by a long shot, but it's catchy. Alright, both of you. So yeah, new Foxy is definitely less aggressive because it takes way more to make old Foxy go away, especially on this night. And are you gonna prove my point here? Oh no, just Bonnie. Never mind. Bonnie probably got rid of both of them for me, so uh thanks. Alright, Foxy here, yep. Not surprised. Ah, oh, just ready. Also, it looks like they have a pattern, as in they do appear at certain times. Foxy always shows up first, New Foxy always makes an appearance, so does Bonnie, and eventually they all go away before Freddy comes in. It's like the pattern of Night 6. Hmm, I wonder if the other nights are like that. They might actually be. I'm not sure. Okay, moment of silence. Hmm, good. Alright. Ah, just Foxy again. But yeah, Foxy's been demanding a lot more flashlight energy out of me than normal. Uh, at least on this night. As you can clearly see. You're too slow! Stupid animatronics. Freddy, no big deal. Just winding it up. 
Balloon Boy. See? Balloon Boy appeared right with Freddy last time, too. So yeah, as we saw before, Chica was missing both arms. Very interesting. Well, not arms, just hands, as you can see. And will you please go away? Hello. No! Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> cannot afford another mistake like that. Alright, flash, flash, flash. You're forcing me to use up way too much light energy. Alright, just new Chica for some reason on night 6. I, again, I get it. The point of the new animatronics on this night is to have everything coming to get you. But when everything doesn't necessarily mean threatening, then what's the point? Other than just to make a couple of jokes. As in, for example, actually thinking that Freddy's a threat. You know, Chica? There are times when I hate you most of all. There's literally nothing I can do. Hey, that lasted two seconds. Hmm. I should make a note of that. Don't have anything to write with. Alright, about ten minutes in. Hmm. Doesn't feel like ten minutes. Okay. Actually, it makes sense that it's in ten minutes. And I hate how it starts off on night five. I mean, why don't you just have it say continue night six? I don't know. Maybe if you still wanted to play Night 5, um, after you beat Night, s at unlock Night 6, I don't know why you'd want to do that, whatever. I like balloons. You know, if Balloon Boy literally just showed up, gave me some balloons, and left, but it cost me my lights for about two seconds, then I really wouldn't mind. Like, I really wouldn't. Alright, Foxy. And you, Foxy. Also, something I've learned from watching other people's videos is that even if your flashlight battery runs out, it still lasts some time. It's like the 0% from the first game. How it lasted like pretty much a whole percent. But I don't think it lasts as much in, uh, obviously in this game. So maybe just like you get a little bit extra juice out of it than what you see. So I guess in this case what you see isn't always what you get. And if that kid's anywhere near here, I'm just gonna be pissed. Okay, good he isn't. The problem is the setup I'm in right now is my chair is actually pretty low. So it's a little uncomfortable to reach my keyboard. So that's why sometimes I accidentally like, pull up something or put down something I didn't mean to pull up or put down. Which, yes, does get very annoying in very little time. And it's weird how Chica replaced Freddy there. Oh well, no one cares. Because Chica's an idiot who saved us all. I'm gonna make that a thing now, you know. Alright, you see? I'm pretty sure they have a set pattern that they follow each time. Funny, the arm was funny. She's a dinosaur, but not really. Again, he's not a threat, is he? Because if he can actually kill you, I am yet to see that. Please, someone tell me, can Golden Freddy actually kill you? Because if the answer is yes, I'm surprised because he hasn't done it yet. Alright, I'm just making sure Balloon Boy wasn't there because that's pretty much instant game over on night 6. 
and of course so would be the marionette. Alright, just the foxies. Meet the foxies. A, an interesting family, Hello. to say the least. They should make a movie, it's just like, Meet the Foxies. Because I would pay to see that. I mean, I'd pay two bucks. But nothing more than that. Again, just normal Freddy Bear. And she got ya. How does she kill you without arms? Like, if she's legitimately trying to stuff you into a suit, then wouldn't that require hands? I don't know, maybe Freddy helps her. Because even Bonnie, who only has one arm, I'm pretty sure that, that wouldn't be enough to stuff an entire person into a robot suit. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that the new animatronics don't do that. Uh, by do that, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, just straight up attack you is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. That might throw a little bit of a monkey wrench into things, but, eh, not really. Oh, and I'm glad how this game only requires the control button and the mouse. So, there's that. Is it just me, or is this game getting really boring? I mean, it never had a scare factor to begin with, for me at least, so it ended up being like all stressful and trying to figure out what to do, but now that I know that, it's just a matter of luck and patience, which of course gets very boring waiting for the perfect opportunity. So I guess you could say, I'm officially bored of this game. Talk about crappy last ability. And hell, if anybody thinks this game is replayability, especially after maxed out, uh, Night 7, then they're dead wrong, so. Looking back, when, if I finish this game on, I don't know, all 20 mode, then yeah. If that ever happens, then I will legitimately say, looking back, this game deserved nothing more than a 6 out of 10. And the only reason it's so high is because of how much fun I had with it while it was still new. And the whole experience of trying to find out what to do. But, yeah. Not the best horror game. Not even the best game. Wait, not even- not the best game. Not even the best horror game. And definitely overblown by the medium. And though I personally never played Five Nights at Freddy's 1, if that one was supposed to be, I guess you could say, uh, harder or more interesting, well, no. Because apparently the second one is widely renowned as being a better game. So in that case, I guess I could say that the series itself is overrated. I heard the first game was easier but scarier, but if that's the case, then, well, in that case it would just be easier for me. I mean, only five animatronics to deal with, and I even heard people saying that night six of uh, oh, I that. Uh, that uh, wait <laughs> for a second, I thought I actually knew. stupid delayed reaction, Chica. So yeah, I don't mean to bash anyone who likes this game, but oh, this again. <laughs> So last time, it looked like this minigame ended prematurely, because I actually managed to catch up with the marionette. Which is interesting, to say the least. I huh. wonder what that thing is on the bottom right. I don't know, maybe it's Foxy's hook. <gasps> and this looks exactly like where it started, but I know it isn't. Oh, there was Golden Freddy in the corner right there. Sitting all lonely for a second. Present! Present. Present. I want the present. It's Marionette! Oh. I guess I have to touch this thing, don't I? Okay. Uh. Boring night. So, uh. Yeah, I guess the series is a. I've heard people say 
that night five of this game is the equivalent of night seven in the last game. And if that's true, then wow, people are really exaggerating the difficulty of 420 mode, that's all I can say. Yes, yeah, see they always have the new pat these patterns. New Foxy always shows up there at the beginning of this night. So it looks like there is a pattern to the whole game, which Hello. down which decreases how much I like it even more. So if there's anyone out there who's feeling offended by what I'm saying, especially Scott, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bash this game, but it's really nowhere near the best. In fact, I've played many better horror games, and I do intend to play them all on this channel at one point or another, once I am done with this game. So yeah. Just my opinions on the game, maybe it'll change when I'm done with the sus play, maybe not, that's when I'll do an actual review of my opinions of the game, once it's all done. Alright, just boxy. You see, I've seen people in the first game who are freaking out about certain things, like maybe something showed up that they just, like, really screwed them over, but in this game especially, that's one way that the first game is better, because there's less elements that are left up to pure chance. So, yeah, because, like, go remember Golden Freddy from the first game? Remember New Freddy from the first game, where half the battle was just luck itself? Yeah. Hello. Oh, so he actually can kill you. Okay. No, oh, wait. Maybe he can't kill you when he's in the room with you, but he can kill you when he's in the hallway, or maybe... I don't really care. Alright, come on. So that was our first death to our girlfriend, I mean Golden Freddy, sorry. I mix up my GFs a lot. Huh. That did not sound nearly as funny as I thought it would in my head. So yeah, I really think this game has a lot of potential. And the first game, a lot of stuff was left up to random chance, which was good in its own rights, but not necessarily game making or game breaking. And it's the same deal with this game. All the random, all the non-random chance makes it predictable. So maybe it is not as good as the first game. But of course, I can't pass judgment on either game until I fully completed a both. Both. Not both. Oh, and by the way, I still don't understand why she's holding a cupcake with googly eyes. Not that I don't, not that I don't like that. I mean, I would love a cupcake with googly eyes, except I hate cupcakes. But I'm sure there's something out there with googly eyes that I like. Hello. And no, it is not people trying to sell me their balloons. But yeah, if all Balloon Boy was dead was just like appear for a few seconds give me a balloon and leave then I would be happy even if I had to give up a few seconds of flashlight power I wouldn't mind at all I mean just a few seconds I'm more than likely to survive that plus I love balloons even though we've clearly seen that he only has one on hand but I'm sure he could take a lot more from his room through the vents and those vents are pretty spacey I'm sure he has room for like one more balloon in there. I mean, if Bonnie and Chica, like both new and old, can fit through it, then I don't see why an extra balloon can't fit with the already tiny balloon boy. Hello. So I think I'm cheated in that way. Game, I want the balloon. And if you refuse to give me said balloon, I will be pissed. Now give me my balloon balloon boy. I like how the game has become more winding up the thing than anything else. Flashy, flashy. So flashy, flashy. Flash! Flash! It's Flash! That was the Flash song. I created it because I wanted to. 
Now, copyrighted, give me your money. And I was too late, wasn't I? Well, regardless, I'm gonna have to move my ass now. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like here. Is when you're just trying to wind up the thing and they're being assholes about it. Because I would not want to be roommates with that guy. The marionette, of course. I actually wouldn't want to be roommates with anyone here, but especially that guy. No, wait, don't! I was too late, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Come on. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh wow, she actually killed me before the marionette. <sighs> Alright, we're about 26 minutes in. I'll give this one more shot, and then I'll cut the recording and start recording part 2. Of course, they'll be going up at the same time. So the reason I'm cutting the recording is I don't want to force people to sit through just one one hour long video. And then on YouTube, it's more justifiable if it actually ends up being two half an hour videos. Because of the internet logic. Which is basically saying because reasons. Which is probably true in this case. But just think about it. This obviously isn't in real time. So, and so, uh, it takes about 10 of our seconds to fully wind up that music box. So, in his world, this guy's world, that must be taking a crap ton of time. I mean, here we have 6 minutes and 6 hours. So, hold on. 6 minutes is 6 hours, so that means that, uh, a minute to an hour. So their time goes by 60 times faster than ours. So that means that in his world, it's taking him 10 minutes. It's taking him 10 minutes to fully wind up this music box. Which is ridiculous. And that means there are also like entire minute intervals where he doesn't encounter a single animatronic. And, you, and when they appear in his face and you have to keep the mask up, imagine how long that takes for him. It must be taking him, like, forever to, uh, especially the period of time when the lights are just straight up off. And who knows how long Balloon Boy is there, of course. So, yeah, it's really weird. Like... Maybe they should have just made it a six minute shift. At least then it would have made more sense. Cause why would it take ten minutes to wind up a stupid music box all the way? The world may never know. But his finger must hurt though. And it's just Baksa. Yeah, I wonder why New Foxy has that weird radio static on whenever we see him or he's nearby. Oh, New Foxy's gone. Alright. I wonder what mystical world he went off to. Because hell, I want to be there. You know how boring it is just sitting in this office all night? There's nothing to do but check cameras and look back and forth for six hours it's not like I'm dead it's not like how for us it's closer to six minutes but just think about it for this guy he's practically just sitting in a room for six hours being a security guard must be the most boring job in the world but at the same time it could be quote unquote dangerous so much this guy's getting paid a lot to do nothing but he's still getting barely above minimum wage even for 1987 so yeah, but why am I questioning the logic in a video game? It's like trying to question Nintendo logic, as Emil puts it. You gone? Okay, yeah. 
And I messed up on two fronts just now. <laughs> that was the second one, in case you were wondering. Oh, we're practically 30 minutes in solid, so I'm going to cut it here. So, about 10 seconds from now, you will see the next episode. And I... That's really good time because I really have to use the bathroom. So, bye.